hey guys what's up welcome back to hacking with ken so today we're going to look at uh, the try hack me room the hacker methodology and uh, i already explained the hacker methodology but uh, i explained it in urdu so basically today we're going to do that in english and uh, it's it's really really uh, um, important to know that what methodology you're going to follow there are a lot of frameworks out there but uh, this is the general methodology that every hacker must follow if he wants to hack or a person or system completely so uh, let me tell you this doesn't apply in all of scenarios so basically we're going to look at so uh, what process does a hacker follow well you might think that a hacker does whatever he she wants it is actually true that professional hackers penetration testers generally follow an established process to understand and exploit their targets this ensured that there is no con consistency between how assessments are performed throughout the industry and its methodology that drive assessments so basically what, what they're saying is that uh, um, a hacker does not blindly attacks he creates a methodology first uh, on which he will act first uh, he will do what he will do what so he will follow he follows some kind of methodology so he uh, he uh, don't face any errors so basically the uh, we have six steps first is reconnaissance always reconnaissance first step is always reconnaissance which is information gathering means how much information can you gather about your target then we have enumeration and scanning then you enumerate or scan the server then third we have gaining access fourth we have privilege escalation five we have covering tracks six we have reporting now it's asking me to put first phase of methodology of hacking so basically i'm just gonna put reconnaissance because it's hack information gathering always comes first then we have reconnaissance review okay the first phase of ethical hacker methodology is reconnaissance reconnaissance is all about collecting information about your target generally speaking reconnaissance in usually involves no interaction with targets or system so basically you uh, we are not using nmap we are not using any go buster we are not using anything any tool on the server direct on direct server we're just doing information gathering from social media from who is details from um, other websites uh, like this website.informer.com so we are doing information gathering from those websites which is open source or OSINT. we're doing basically since open uh, source intelligent so basically uh, generally speaking uh, reconnaissance is pretty simple concept think about tools we can use to intend okay uh, we won't use nmap we won't hit the server but we can uh, do internet scans using tools so basically it's OSINT tools in this case let's use company spacex stop here and take two minutes to do research on spacex and note down any website used to conduct research so basically spacex is uh, elon musk company and it's telling us to do research on elon musk company now it's telling us to do google talking room i would recommend google talking it's really really lit room to be honest you will you won't believe what a google talking can does so basically uh, we have some amazing tools wikipedia comes first people finder who do it is sublist 3r hunter.io built with.com weblizer okay let's check built with.com first uh, I know Weblizer it's great extension that tells you what website uh, what technology website is using on find out what websites are built with so buildwith.com I'm just gonna add this in my bookmark to be honest I really didn't know about that so let's go who is CEO SpaceX okay now uh, this is the proper methodology and I'm going to explain the proper concepts now how will you do a Google research now is it's asking for a CEO of SpaceX so basically just type SpaceX okay company then you will have the CEO Elon Musk I already knew it but Elon Musk is CEO of SpaceX now do some research into tools sublist 3r what does it list so basically I don't have to search it uh, but uh, let's do this for new members sublist 3r so basically if you guys don't know sublist 3r is designed to enumerate subdomains so basically it lists us gives us subdomains if you don't know what is domain or subdomain do a little research 
so what is it called when you use google look uh, google to look to for specific vulnerabilities or do a research specific topic of interest it's called google docking uh, i will i will make a video about google docking uh, now we have our next phase our next phase is uh, scanning and elimination this is where hackers start interacting with target so basically now we hit the server at full power so basically scanning there is more uh, specialized tools start to come into the arsenal like can map go buster exploit db and uh, burp suit and everything so basically we have then uh, detail i don't want to get into that but now we have uh, yeah this is something yeah we have the attack surface determine what what the target might be vulnerable to in exploitation phase these vulnerabilities might be range of thing anything from a web page a website leaking information so basically we look from above we leave uh, we take a look uh, properly on the website let's say we check for vulnerabilities in databases we check for sql injection lfi rfi to simplify enumeration and uh, scanning phase is where we'll try to determine what a target might be vulnerable to so basically we try to uh, we try to uh, basically get information about the target and we try that it's vulnerable or not so basically we have tools like nmap we have tools like go buster and it's telling us to use that but enumeration help uh, what uh, what does enumeration help to determine about the target so basically uh it uh, basically uh determine about the attack surface so attack surface uh, which port is running and everything attack surface there will be the do some reconnaissance about the tool meta exploit what company developed it uh basically let don't you don't have to type what company developed meta exploit just type meta exploit and uh, we have uh meta exploit we have the no not the developers here uh basically it was created by rapid 7 as long as i know uh rapid 7 stable release okay uh it's uh, yeah rapid 7 so basically we have the rapid 7 here okay uh what company developed the technology behind the tool burp suit so let's just simply type the burp suit uh burp suit is amazing tool for uh web penetration tester so we have here ports vigor so we have ports vigor here i think that's it so let's type ports vigor and if not if that's not it then we have to go back so ports vigor it is then let's go to the next phase we have the exploitation now exploitation is a step when uh, you found a vulnerability now it's time to make a payload or virus to exploit the vulnerability or make a malicious code to exploit it you can find a lot of exploits on exploit db cv details uh let's say uh, a server using uh, ssh version 7 uh, no uh, 7.62 so it's vulnerable a new version is 8.2 p1 so basically it's vulnerable you can find exploit on uh, exploit db meta exploit then you can hack it or everything so basically if you do not enumerate any vulnerabilities you miss an opportunity so hacker methodology is about following the steps first step was information gathering second step was uh, enumeration okay uh, and third step is exploitation so basically let's just go into it we can use tools like uh, uh, metasploit and burp suit primary exploitation use so i will say metasploit because uh, metasploit is used a lot in exploitation phases and it uh, also do a post exploitation stuff now we have privilege escalation privilege escalation it says in windows world uh, targets uh, uh, account is usually administrator in linux usually account target is root so basically uh, we have two or main operating systems uh, which are used widely used out there so we have to hack them now uh, privilege why we do privilege escalation because when we get access to a system uh, we don't get all the privileges so we have to escalate our privileges so we can access all the contents on that computer or server so basically pr uh, privilege escalation can be done by uh, cracking hashes found on target it can be passwords and find a vulnerable service we can exploit a service uh, we can uh, somehow uh, some employees just keep the password in readme so we can read it default credentials admin admin find secret ssh key so basically you can also uh, find ssh key and manipulate it and then go with it 
so basically we can also in linux we can also see uh, the suid binaries so we can exploit them and uh, do our privilege escalation so basically in which uh, in windows what is usually uh, the other target account beside administration uh, system 32 i think uh, it was system 32 but okay what thing related to ssh could allow you to log into another machine even without knowing password uh, now that's a tricky question uh, rsa no uh, what was it okay i forgot to be honest ssh keygen no ssh key no ssh keygen what thing uh, related to ssh could allow you to log into another machine even without knowing username and password um huh that's really uh tricky uh without knowing username and password so that's really really tricky i i need to research on it uh so let's do a little research on it yeah it was key and yeah i was sure of it uh, it was key again so yeah keys damn it uh, yeah uh, it was keys so key and, and keys okay okay now we have covering tracks in this uh, you have to cover your tracks so you won't leave any trace uh, just cover your tracks pretend you are you were never here you can do that by uh, manipulating logs manipulating events or uh, even uh, mimic cards can do that and meterpreter shell can do that you can just stop the events and log won't be generated you can delete all the logs out there and uh, cover your tracks so basically um, and this is all so this is uh, basically it says in the rules of engagement for a penetration test should be agreed to before the test occurs the penetration tester should stop immediately when they achieve privilege escalation and report the finding result so basically uh, this is for uh, this is step is not for penetration testers uh, basically uh, uh, in uh, sorry i'm just uh, a little nervous here most of the penetration tester the, for the after the privilege escalation most of the penetration tester do report so reporting is their step so basically covering tracks is only for black hats or uh, other hackers out there which hack servers for information so basically this is not a step for valid penetration testers there we have reporting which is a step for uh, penetration testers you can find uh, and this is the actual report basically um, how can i see the actual report format for penetration testing of a website or anything a formal report we can uh, you can view this i will put a link in the description so you can view uh, what would be type of reporting that involves a full documentation of all findings within the format okay uh, there were types of uh, reporting too i think um the reporting phase often include following things the finding of vulnerability description okay uh i have to research it what type of uh, reporting that involves a full documentation of all finding uh i would say um a baseline weight i would say uh a findings uh criticality of finding no of findings of vulnerabilities okay uh findings of vulnerabilities okay finding or vulnerabilities the findings or vulnerabilities okay it's only three uh no it's not the finding so let's just google it um uh, i really forgot about the reporting though so basically we have a full formal report <laughs> full formal report we have so basically full formal report have uh, uh, all the uh, findings and vulnerabilities but other thing data penetration uh, pen tester should provide in report beyond finding name description and finding criticality okay um, i should provide uh, i think uh, the uh, vulnerability scans result um, finding summary vulnerability scan results too i think uh, because uh, he should provide that uh, vulnerability scan results no okay i think i'm just gonna google it and let's just google it and let's read the answer 
and finding criticality of uh, finding but i don't think i don't think it's uh, the right answer and the findings of criticality okay um, let's just uh, let's just go to the medium and uh, find the answer so we have yeah so the last step is uh, reporting basically uh, there are a lot of uh, vulnerability scanners out there that can generate a report there are a lot of websites out there you can uh, generate your own report but i think uh, reports uh, should be in pdf format mostly so basically it's uh, pdf is really really formal so i think that's really that would be great if you make a report in pdf format okay let's just we have full formal report remediation recommendation okay so in remediation recommendation um, we have all so basically we uh, completed this room the next uh, room will be about google docking so check here and also i'm designing course on cyber inspects uh, i will tell you guys when it's launched